it's a game that we're going into at home. I know a lot's been made about the home form. Um, and we've, I can't really be bothered to speak about it because it's just that topic that's just, we know it's there, don't we? Um, and we're not the, the only club that are in this position. I think if you look at, at football in general at the minute, there was two home wins in our league on Saturday. Um, one, I think. Was it one? I've got that wrong. We had one or two home wins in our league on Saturday. I think out the whole three leagues, so I think about 34 games, fixtures, something like that, 35 fixtures, there was only eight home wins. You go the week before that, you're in around the same numbers. So the game's become a, um, a tactical minefield. I think the modern era, the modern game, players are more aware, fans are definitely more aware. Um, and obviously managers and coaches are a lot more aware that the, the away performances now, um, we do it and, and if the other team does it, not just in this league but through the leagues, they they want to use the, the home team's so-called advantage, strength as their weakness because they, um, how do I put this in layman's terms, that back in the day, so we, we'd, Jim Smith, he'd go, you're away from home lads, get whatever you can, don't worry, we're back at home next week. That's how the thought process was at home. It was a given that you'd win away, just get what you can. Game's changed, do you know what I mean? It's um, it's become a very even playing field now. I think last season in League Two, there was, um, over the whole season, um, I think out of 100%, there was something like 39% home wins, 36 away wins, the rest were draws. So there's no difference now. The difference comes in the environment that you're home um, ground creates and that's where we need our supporters because um, they make the difference because you look at the game now that's how tight it is the percentages and the facts they don't lie and it's people here people at every ground they go to the away team go you're the home team you've got to come out at us your fans want us to attack so we're going to let you come out and then we're going to suck a puncher that's the game it happens at the top level it happens at league two and it has become a um, like I say a tactical minefield now so Yes, you are the home team and you have to um, take that little bit more risk and, and that's my job and I know that I've got to, um, that's a personal thing for me because I, I, I am a, um, like I say, I'm very structural in my work. Um, but this is, we're not the only club in the in the world of football at the minute that has, um, I'm not even going to say home issues, what are we 14th in the home table? So it's not as if we're bottom. Um, and, and one more win, I think it takes us into the top ten form of, of home. So um, it's not um, it's not a, a catastrophe, but for us to get into the um, into the higher higher regions and to break that top seven barrier, we got to start picking three points up at home. And we'll be doing everything we can. We're looking at every single little thing. And like I say, because the the margins are that tight in terms of home and away venues now, especially at League Two, because we don't get huge crowds. So it is very very level environments that you go into we need our fans and if we get the fans um, that made all the noise at Luton we get the fans that made all the noise at Crewe we get the fans that stood here at Wickham and made all the noise the fans that were here at Yeovil and made all the noise that's our environment now that gives us that extra 5% to make this environment our home environment and, and that gives us the advantage on the uh, the opposition